Continuing our conversation at the King Faisal Specialist Hospital and Research Centre, we're shifting our focus to the Organ Transplant Centre of Excellence and to talk to us about this in greater detail, very kindly joined by Dr. Reem al maghrabi Thank you for joining us. Can you talk to us a little bit about the, uh, the Organ Transplant Centre of Excellence? Sure. Thank you for having me. So the Organ Transplant Centre of Excellence has been for, uh, established in 2021. But before that, we had separate uh, um, department for the organ transplant the tra kidney transplant department, liver transplant department, lung transplant department, but then we had everyone under the same umbrella. Last year, 2022, marked one of the most important years for the Organ Transplant Center of Excellence because we had achieved one of the largest numbers in our history for organ transplantation. We had transplanted over 800 of organ transplant last year. And this year, we have another remarkable achievement, which is the first in the world fully robotic liver transplant surgery. So our uh, liver transplant recipient had a surgery that is done with uh, robotic assisted uh, surgery, and this is the, one, the first uh, uh, surgery to be done of its kind in the world. We've already uh, uh, accomplished five similar cases in the center, and this is a great achievement for King Faisal. So looking at the, our booth, we are also demonstrating not only the numbers, but also the new programs or the programs that will benefit the larger number of recipients. So what, for example, we do the paired kidney exchange. This is not unique for King Faisal, but we are number one in the world in terms of paired kidney exchange done at a single center, and this is based on last year data. The other thing that we are doing also to benefit the larger number of, of patients is a split liver transplant. Again, this is not unique to King Faisal, but we are the only and one of the uh, fairest centers in the kingdom that started doing that. And split liver is actually having one liver from a cadaveric or brain dead donor, and then we split it to an adult recipient or a pediatric recipient. We also do something called domino transplant. So one of uh, sometimes one of the pediatric patients will have a liver that is actually functioning very well in another body because those patients will have a genetic disorder where this liver cannot function in their bodies. So what our surgeons do is take this liver, give it to another patient who does not have this gene and do a liver transplantation. So we've benefited two patients at the same time. Uh, the most recent programs that we have introduced is, lower, uh, is the upper limb transplant and the uterus transplant. Very, very few centers in the world that does that. And we will be the fairest centers in the Middle East that will be doing this by highly sophisticated transplant surgeries. And if you can comment a little bit on the exhibition, Global Health Exhibition, how's it been for the center so far? and? How important is it to be participating in this? Oh, it's a fantastic opportunity for networking, for knowing what other uh, healthcare sectors and healthcare providers in the country are doing. How can we collaborate more? How can we provide a better medical service for our for our uh, uh, patients and for the whole society? Well, we wish you all the very best. Thank you very much.